Hey guys, the Blue Life here, and welcome to my very first Blu-ray update of 2013. I didn't do an update last month, uh, and that's really because you know I didn't have a lot of titles, and I hate doing like five-minute updates. So I think I'm going to switch now to doing updates every other month, um, but it really depends on how many titles I actually pick up. But I have a nice stack of uh, titles to show you, so let's go ahead and get started. First up, the DVDs. Now, you guys know I've been uh, picking up some of the four movie collection uh, Disney titles, um, and I've got two more of those to show you. First up is the Disney Classics collection. Now, this includes Darby O'Gill and the Little People, the No Mobile, the one and only genuine original Family Band, and the Happiest Millionaire. Now, I haven't got a chance to, to watch any of these, um, except Darby O'Gill and the Little People, because I already have the, the DVD. Um, but, you know, it's a really good deal. I mean, you can pick these up at Walmart for $12. And so, I mean, getting four movies for $12 really, really can't beat that. All right, next up, I've got the four movie collection of Don Knotts movies. Now, I have uh, very fond memories of... Uh, I used to... My middle school was right um, around the corner from where my grandparents lived. And so after I got out of school, I used to, to walk to their house and just chill out till my mom picked me up. And um, they would always watch the Andy Griffith show. And so I'd watch it with them. And I really enjoyed Don Knotts and that and just the show overall. Uh, so I, w I was really interested in seeing more films with him in it. So uh, this has the Apple Dumpling Gang, uh, which I've heard good things about. Uh, the Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again, which I've heard not so good things about. Uh, Hot Lead and Cold Feet, and Gus. Alright, next up, I've got a Doctor Who DVD. Uh, you know, I haven't been picking up Doctor Who DVDs uh, consistently, just because, you know, they do cost quite a bit of money, and, and you know, I can't really justify spending that much money on some titles that really aren't that aren't good as far, you know, as a story goes. But this one, I could definitely justify. It is Shada. Now, what's really interesting about this story is that it was never finished. Um, they filmed a, a, a bit of it, but there was a strike going on at the BBC at the time, and they just, you know, abandoned uh, finishing it. So, uh, what this is is that in 1992 they came out with uh, this on video tape and they had linking narration uh, by Tom Baker the doctor himself uh, for what they didn't film and so that's what this is but it's been fully restored and um, but you know that's really not why I bought this I mean Shada of course is written by uh, Douglas Adams and it's from what what What's there? It, it's not. It's not really a, a great story. Even Adams didn't really like the story all that much. There are a ton of special features on this. You get um, kind of making of a uh, feature on why it, it was never finished, um, and a bunch of other special features on this. But the main thing that I got this for is the documentary, more than thirty years in the TARDIS, because uh, I mean this this is a three disc set. And, and that more than 30 years in the TARDIS documentary gets its own DVD, which is really nice. But what that is, is a, a 30th anniversary documentary on the show that came out in 1993. And it's a, it's a really good documentary. Um, you can probably find it on, on YouTube. Uh, but, you know, that alone is worth getting this uh, DVD. So, really nice set. All right, moving on to uh, Blu-rays I picked up during the Best Buy Upgrade and Save program. Uh, I got all these titles. Well, the first three for around $5 and the last one for, I think, around 12 But uh, the first one, this is one that I've heard good things about and been wanting to see for a while. It's kind of a dystopian future type film, but it's Children of Men. Uh, it stars Clive Owen, Julianne Moore... Uh, Michael Caine, and the plot in this is that uh, it's the year 2027, and um, nobody's giving 
birth to children anymore. Um, it's like everyone's barren. So the human race is now kind of endangered, and uh, Clive Owen's character kind of gets pulled into um, helping out this uh, pregnant teenager um, to get her through safely because there's a lot of terrorism going around and it, and it's it's kind of hard to explain the the whole plot so I would definitely recommend watching it it's it's a, a really good film with some great performances in it all right next up we've got the very first Woody Allen movie I've had ever seen but it is midnight in Paris uh, this is a fantastic film. I was really blown away by this. I really enjoyed it. Uh, great cast in it. Just a really good story. Um, I was just happy that I got this for five dollars. Uh, the only thing with this, not really any special features. I think you get like a, a midnight in Cannes featurette and then cast and crew photo galleries, which they make a big deal by saying it's a Blu-ray exclusive. I mean. They were saying that when DVDs first came out. So that's kind of ridiculous. I wish there was more special features on this. But um, but yeah, just really good film. Now here's a not so good film. Uh, but I figured for $5, I'd, I'd check it out. Now, I, I thought I had gotten most of the story out of playing the video game of this. Uh, and I, I kind of had, but it's... Uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now, I, I was kind of surprised by this film, because I went into it thinking it wasn't going to be all that good. And, you know, the plot wasn't wasn't that bad. Uh, the only thing... I I mean, I think the major issue with it, this film is that the plot is very generic. Um, it's very predictable. You know exactly what's going to happen in it. And, I don't know, it, it's just not not as good as it could have been. It could have been much, much better. Um, but for what it is, it's it's a fun little entertaining action flick. Um, but a ton of special features on this. So for $5, I mean, if, if you're into X-Men and Marvel stuff, I'd say why not pick this up? It's, it's an okay film. And um, for the last thing I got with Upgrade and Save is the original cl classic... Tron. Now, I have been wanting to see this ever since I got uh, Tron Legacy, which I, I really enjoyed. Um, but I, I had never seen this. So, I was very surprised um, by how well it, it holds up. Because um, I was thinking, you know, I was going to watch it and kind of cringe at the special effects. But honestly, you know, the special effects really weren't that bad. It's like, compared to the day, yeah, they're they're, they're not that good, but watching it, I never was like, oh, that looks terrible. I was just saying, okay, that, that kind of looks... It definitely... It just looks different from how computer-generated graphics are today on film. So, it, it's surprising, you know. The only thing with this is that I, I felt that the film was lacking in, in the character development department, and they definitely could have done more with the characters. Uh... And maybe a little bit more of the story. But for what it was, it, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. Alright. Now on to... A few other titles. Uh, this one I picked up at where I work. And, you know, we sell... Like, electronics and, and mainly office supplies. So, you know, we got in this uh, kind of shipper of... DVDs and maybe about 20 Blu-rays uh, and I had, a, I had a gift card for there so I figured why not this was pretty much the only one that I was kind of interested in but it's uh, Hidalgo starring Vigo Mortensen and uh, from what I've heard about this film I haven't watched it yet but from what I've heard it's it's a decent action adventure film so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to sticking it in um, the funny thing about this is that c could they have made this cover look any more like Lord of the Rings? You know, I, I know this, this came out probably a year or so after, well, after Lord of the Rings. I, I'm not really sure, but I think they were kind of trying to 
to feed off of that since Viggo Mortensen was in it. Um, but, you know, not a lot of special features on this, but this was a, a 2008, so not exactly an early Blu-ray release, but kind of still in the early part of it. All right, next up, this is one that you saw me do an, un, um, an unboxing of, well, a package opening from Disney Movie Rewards, but it's Disney Nature Earth, and I've since watched a, a bit of it. Really nice picture quality on this, and some great narration. Um, th this is definitely something that to to show off what Blu-ray can do. So I'm, I'm glad I picked that up. Next up, I was really happy to find this one because uh, I rented this when this movie uh, first came out and really enjoyed it. Uh, but you know, I just never saw the price um, go down for it. So I picked up Hugo, and I actually saw this. Um, at Target, they had a bunch in the clearance section for eight dollars and ninety-eight cents. So, I I couldn't pass that up. Um, but fantastic film. I definitely recommend seeing this if you haven't. It's it's a great um, ode to to film. Uh, all right, and finally, you saw an unboxing of it the other day, but it is Skyfall. I watched this again, and it's a really, really good Bond film. And, you know, watching it for a second time, I definitely noticed more of how it is kind of getting back to the older Bond films. Trying to, they're putting a bit more humor in there. Um, also doing a, a, more of the uh, Bond theme and Bond moments in it. Uh, so that I, I, I really liked. Uh, so this is this is making me very hopeful of of the future of the Bond franchise because what well, I mean I'm not saying that Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace were bad um, but you know uh, there's kind of controversy on at least from fans' point of view that you know those weren't really they were good films but they're not really Bond films but you know I I like them all but you know I just think that you know Bond franchise is getting better and better with this release so definitely looking forward to more all right guys well that is it for my blue first blu-ray update of 2013 till next time